Well, it's time to do an updated video because the last one is really, really outdated and plus I wanted to change some things. I will talk slowly when I'm describing topics on how to improve your tiers, the strategies you do to gain PvP points and just know the basics of this game. The reason why I'm doing it is because there is a new tier approaching. And I want to try to help you guys get up fast and quick. Um, so yeah, first topic I'm going to talk about is PvP points. This is really, really good in the starting stage, especially what's going on now. Also, the date is the 27th of May, which is my birthday. <laughs> but I'm reason why I'm saying that is because there's currently no events other than this Clash of Champions. There's no like special fusion events like timed. What I mean by that is um, Valentine's. There's upcoming WrestleMania fusions, but that's it. So let's talk first about Money in the Bank. And the reason why I want to talk about Money in the Bank is because each game you play. You will get 50 PvP points. And that's the maximum from all modes you can get. Not counting, obviously, Team Battlegrounds. But that's like 48 hours, I think. 24 hours to charge and then 24 hours to um, attack. Anyway, if you're starting out with Money in the Bank, it will be difficult. But what you need to try to do is go up to a stage where you're getting white briefcases because you I think you get like blue I think blue brown green I'm not too sure about the colors but the white briefcases do five each time you attack and that's what you want to go for so the best strategy is to go all the same tier cards doesn't matter about if you have enhancements doesn't matter if the um Got overrun, the best ability you can ever run the card. All that matters is you make sure they're all the same tier and you've got good supports. See, that fan dangle is four fight three, while this Cal Riley's one, Uso is just normal. See with this I can do it. I can easily get fifty per game. And that's what you want to do if you want to do the PvP side. Okay, now talk about this. Do not, and I repeat, do not play war. War is not your, not worth your time. It's bad on CP. I think you get three, and when it's times two, it's six. Um, I think, unless they changed it, but really, it's not worth it. The mods you want to play on are Royal Rumble for training wise. So if you want to train up some cards to Royal Rumble, I'll show you what to do with the decks. And Elimination Chamber if you want to go EFK, you know. If you want to put your phone down, let it run while you want to play Fortnite, Apex Legends, Warzones, any games, TV. Elimination Chamber is the best. So Royal Rumble, it's simple. Do the two cards you want to chain up, then the rest make them, just make them um, like an event card if you can, or just normal neon cards. You can do them as silver stars or not trained, um, not pause, etc. Just make sure, obviously, the cards you're doing up here are trainable and probable so that the same tier so it doesn't mix it all up and then these have to be the same kind of stats on the same tier same goes for the women's as you see our mind's a bit mixed up but it still does the job <laughs> battery life nothing new <laughs> anyway elimination tumor easy neons if you've got events or fusions by the way if you can do, you can do Neon Fusions. So if you haven't had any of these cards, just 
just keep going in and out for the neon fusions and you could make a deck like mine. It worked the same. Uh, do the same for both. That's for the FK side. You do get people who do the same strat and what you can do is you can easily just lift up your phone like that, give it like a couple of seconds, go back in, do it again, go back in, and then the person that's a real player you're going against will end up getting annoyed and leave the game. And then it means they don't put their stat matches up, which is important for Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber and one more are the best for the points. I think you get 12 on each. I'm not too sure. But they are the best for the points. Now... To discuss what you should do with your PvP points and your free credits. With your super coins, the PvP points. Go for cards like this. When there's a special money in the bank female. They're going to help you a lot. But, but. It's, if you're starting out. Don't be shy to go for these. These case grabs are good. And I mean, if you end up getting a pro, it's worth it. Especially if you're starting to build up your deck. And plus, if you get most of these, you can do the same strat, like I said, with Elimination Chamber, Money in the Bank, Royal Rumble. It's um, one, of the, one of the good ways as well. But that, other than that, I think there's nothing else to buy. Do not buy anything else. Um... Just, if you care about the points, obviously, just, uh, when you're starting out, buy the grab case or the mixed bag, and then when you're starting to get up, save for the Money in the Bank special cards. I mainly go for either your favourite superstar, so that's like personal preference, or go for females, because the better the females you are have, the better your stats will go up. Um, with credits... Save them for last man standing. Or save them for when it's at flash events. Because flash events, were, uh, flash events Road to Glory and flash events Ring Domination are easy. It's time to times two picks and then if you buy title matches, you can whiz through them. Even if you have to do plus twos or plus fours or plus sixes, uh, it will be a grind and a half. But it will be worth it. Because that's what I did for Mr. T. Because my deck wasn't... You guys think it may be good. But at the time, I had to do that strat. So that was the deck I was running. But um, I managed to get it. Because I did the strat on the flash event. Right. So now, let's talk about team backgrounds. You need a team... Which I'm not on for unfortunately at the moment because uh, I might step step away from the game for a while. But teams are important because you get not only do you get super coins slash PvP points, you get good rewards. Um, but with with team backgrounds, obviously you can join a team and look for teams that are one to two tiers above your current tier. So then you can have a little boost. But you need to make sure the teams are active. If the teams are not active, you're going to get screwed over when it comes to team events like Team uh, team Battleground, Team World Glory and Team Ring Domination. So be careful with the teams you pick and hopefully the teams either have Facebook, Twitter, Discord, something like that. If they have a social media app that they run the team chat on, they are legit because that's how you know that they're going to have a game plan. Especially teams that have team background charts. That's more to get discussed. Along the lines of obviously. When you're. Farther into the game. But yeah. Royal. So King of the Ring. I don't really play it. But you can just. Put random cards in. Tradable cards. Start it, start it up. And then don't charge the cards. Don't fuel them up. Just let Just let the. King of the Ring run itself, and then you get picks. You can keep doing that and farm for picks, basically. Um, so performance, 
these are good to help uh, when you want to train a college, um, when you don't have the time, so you can do that. Uh, gym workout, never pay for that. In ring conditions, don't pay for the second one. That's a waste of credits. Also, the new feature, chart topper. This can help for picks, like I said, but you don't have to rush for it. Um, you could do it as well for the exclusive draft picks, which could help. But um, not really recommended. To also discuss the new um, draft system, uh, dust system, sorry. When you are low TI, you do not, you shouldn't do it. You should collect all your cards as you can because you need them for training food. Wait till you are at least some uh, SummerSlam or... Um, Let's see. Wait till you at least SummerSlam up to bio mechanical tier before you start doing it because them cards you crucially gonna need to train up. So you need to know how to balance it between some stuff you do, some stuff you gotta keep for um training up, you know. So you could do um all the cards uh, between Gothic Neon Shattered, WrestleMania, Calculism and SummerSlam nineteen you can dust them and then the rest you get you could save. It's all about, like, mansion and stuff like that. But, yeah, this is basically all information you're going to need. Um, about events, the advice I got, um, Order of Glory says, so obviously, you have good cards. Ring nominations the same. Last man standing, it's important to have cards that are taggable. <laughs> it's something that you can't really help, but... Yeah, if you end up having an unbalanced deck, you're kind of screwed and it makes it harder for yourself. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, um, shoot them down in the comments below or send me a mail in-game. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.